An estimated 180,000 new jobs could be created by 2035 in the UK's subsea sector. The industry claims that over the next 15 years, exports could grow to £20 billion or more. The North East is seen as a crucial area to help the industry develop more renewable technologies. Stephen Brown reports. Oil and gas has dominated our energy for decades, but below the sea, a more forgotten part of the industry is looking to take advantage on the move to greener technologies. The subsea sector is already worth £8 billion, but by 2035 the industry hopes that will increase to £45 billion and create 180,000 new jobs. The region here in the northeast of Scotland particularly has, has done so well in, in subsea in the oil and gas industry, but many of those companies um, are, are now working in new areas um, and that's going to be an important part of how they can actually adapt um, and make those skills or technologies that they've got or services transferable into other areas. This week thousands are attending the subsea exhibition in Aberdeen. The new global underwater hub is pushing for further investment that could help exports increase to around £20 billion, not only in oil and gas but renewables too. One test project looking to capitalise on the growth of the industry is this wave machine from Motion Energy. It wants to create and store clean energy to power subsea equipment. We're demonstrating a complete system. So that's the, the power production, energy storage. So we have a great partner company called Verloom who's providing a subsea battery system as well as the actual control system. So we're really demonstrating a, a real commercial use case. We're proving that this is reliable, robust technology. Another firm involved is a well-known name in oil, but they believe the move to cleaner technology has real potential, including carbon capture. A niche area that we're looking at in particular is around uh, carbon capture and storage, where essentially you know, we can have these small well developments for the injection of the CO2, and these could essentially be powered by a wave energy converter and a subsea battery system. With increasing projects like Scotland creating cleaner energy, the hope for subsea sector now is to take advantage of those developments and be at the fore of new jobs in Scotland as we keep up our energy needs and meet our climate targets too. Stephen Brown, STV News.